starting off the vlog. I just made myself a buffalo chicken salad. I am so excited to eat this. So on the bottom, you guys saw me make it, but I did a bunch of spring mix, red onion, avocado, grape tomatoes, and then I did some frozen corn that I just roasted on a skillet. And the chicken is actually just rotisserie chicken that I cut up and put in a container in the fridge. So I just warmed it up on the stove so that way if you get nice and warm, but that's like a life hack. It makes it so much easier. Like this salad, I just normally don't like to make salads because they take so long to make. But when you kind of like prep the ingredients ahead of time, it makes it so much easier. So yeah, I did chicken from the rotisserie chicken and corn, and then I finished it off with some salt, pepper, crushed red pepper, and lemon juice and then the barbecue sauce that i use this is so good it's the sweet and spicy barbecue sauce but this has no sugar i'm pretty sure yeah sugar free oh yeah it says right here sugar free barbecue sauce so the calories on this i'm pretty sure are way better yeah literally 10 calories and the ingredients on this is really good too so this is like a great little substitute for regular barbecue sauce so that is the little lunch that i'm having nice and healthy super colorful and it's inspired by a salad i had at a restaurant one time that literally was so good it changed my life but like the chicken was fried and there was cheese and all these other things but this is like my healthy version of it at home and it's still really good if you guys watch my fitness channel then you would have already seen me make this before but for those of you that don't watch that channel here is a really good recipe that you guys should all make at home trust me it's literally like life-changing it's so good and it'll keep you full for so long Hi guys, I literally wanna vlog so much right now. I put on makeup for the first time in probably like six, seven days and I feel literally like a new person. Like I self tanned yesterday, so my tan is nice and fresh. Like my makeup looks so glowy and good and I just feel good vlogging right now. I need to get ready every day so that way I'm in like this mindset because this morning, honestly, I was really stressed out. I get stressed out when things aren't in my control and like a lot of stuff going on right now just is, out of my hands and when I think about it, it just gets in my head and yeah, I just, I was stressed out this morning, but then I had a coffee and I felt better and now I got ready and I feel even better than I did before. And also you guys, that salad literally was the best one I've ever made. Like I've made that salad before, but I don't know what I did differently this time that made it so much better. I honestly think it was the rotisserie chicken. I'll show you guys really quickly. So in my fridge, I did this last night. Um, I had this big Tupperware down here and I just cut up like all of the rotisserie chicken and put it in here. And it's so nice because it literally takes no time at all to make a salad. Like it's all already all prepped. And then I just like use the spring mix. I'm just moving this so that way they're stacked on top of each other. But oh my God, it was the best salad ever like it looked so good too I posted on Instagram and so many people were asking questions about it but like trust me it was 10 out of 10 incredible I really want to try out um, doing like a chicken Caesar tomorrow with this basil Caesar dressing definitely not as healthy as today's because today's really like was just vegetables and then the barbecue sauce is like pretty healthy and good ingredients so yeah I'm like loving having like this new healthy vibe to my life because it just feels so good. I don't know, lately I've just kind of been really trying to focus on my health and doing what's right for my body and just focusing on like feeling good, which is why I shopped at Whole Foods because I felt like I couldn't really get anything like super unhealthy there. And so far I've been feeling really good about it. Today, in a little bit, you guys, I think we're going to tackle the living room, like decluttering this whole area and getting it ready for... Um, for the new furniture because the all the white furniture is going. I'm just gonna put in this little tubware from Target. This is like $3 or something. And I'm just gonna put some decor in there because I wanna save all of this stuff that I have that I'm not gonna be using in this space because eventually say I get like a huge house or at least a house bigger than my small apartments, like I'm gonna need decor so I don't want to throw this stuff out because I'll eventually be able to like separate it and put it in places I just don't like the look of it all like cluttered and just thrown on here it l literally makes me itch it makes me stress out so much these as well because if you look in here 
there's just so much random stuff that I need to go through. So it, that stresses me out, but we're gonna do that. But first, I think I'm gonna run downstairs right now and get an Amazon package. I'm so mad because I ordered like some stuff on Amazon and I just got a notification that one of them, like one of the packages, um, it said like the Amazon driver couldn't deliver it. We literally have Amazon lockers in our apartment complex. It said they're gonna attempt to do another delivery, so it's whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and get one package that I did get delivered. I think it's some glasses, and if it is, we're gonna make a coffee because I got these new glasses specifically to have my coffee in, and I feel like they're gonna be really cute, so we're gonna go get those and see if that's what it is. I really hope so. My foundation seriously just looks so good. It's the Dior one, you guys. It literally never fails me. It's so good. Like, it makes your skin literally look flawless if you're watching this video right now and you want a good new foundation that's pretty lightweight but also pretty full coverage it makes your skin look literally flawless and glowing get the dior foundation i will leave a link down below it changed my life forever i will never go to another foundation at least for a long time i'm going to stick with that one because it literally never fails me all right so hello i'm back need my box cutter this drawer you guys i have this little clicker in here it's like a little um laser pointer like you know it does this and all of the cats just like crowd around whenever i open this drawer because they know it's in here so anytime i open it i have to just do the laser pointer for a second and they literally like it's like christmas every time i do this for them because they are just so happy like every single one of them it's so crazy <laughs> And Lulu, do you guys see this like green plant behind me? Lulu literally eats it like 24 seven and I <laughs> don't know what to do. I keep telling her to stop. Like, oh my God, Lulu, stop eating it, stop. Sorry guys, but no more laser pointer right now. They're all just like looking at me like, um, I feel weird not like showing my face at all when I talk. So here we go. If you don't have one of these, I always see people in YouTube videos opening up their packages with like um, keys or scissors and I'm like, they need a box cutter. So what I got is some glasses that I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram use and I was influenced and I got them myself. At least that's what I think this is. I don't know. I never know what I get in the mail. I think it is. It's these really cool glasses, you guys, that look... They're like in the um, shape of like a beer can, but I don't drink beer, but I'm gonna use them. How do I open this? I'm gonna use them for my coffee. And I think it's gonna be really cute. So if I could just open this, like literally this box. Oh, okay, it's right here. Okay, here we go. Yes, it is my glasses. So it came in a four pack. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. Hi, Peach. No, not right now. They're perfect. Okay, these are like the perfect freaking size. Oh my God, yes. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so this is what they look like, you guys. These are big. These I got the 20 ounce ones. They had like 16 ounce, but I was like, I drink a lot of coffee. So I figured I would get the 20 ounce ones. Hi, Coco. This is a good excuse to have some more coffee because I'm obsessed. So came with four of them. Would recommend, I will leave them down below if you wanna be cute. I got rid of like 90% of my mason jars and I'm gonna use these from now on. Oh my God, they're so cute and they're actually like really big. So this is the glass that I had my coffee in this morning and these are them. And they're like thicker all the way around. So they're gonna hold even more coffee. Oh, these are so cute. I love the like, ugh. It's like in the shape of like a soda can. I have like so much stuff coming in from Amazon because I don't know, I just went down like a rabbit hole the other day. And once I started, I, once I start like online shopping, I just can't stop. So I did a little bit of damage and you guys will see it in vlogs coming up how much stuff I got. I like don't know what to vlog about right now. Like what is my life? I'm so excited about these glasses, you guys. I just like, this makes me so happy. You can't even see them. These make me so happy. Literally, this is what living alone is like, is that you have no one to talk to about anything. I like don't want to organize the living room yet, so I'm putting that off. So I'm gonna think of something else that I can do right now to like be kind of semi-productive, but not like fully start organizing yet, because I really just don't want to do that. For so long. I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah But somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed mm -mm. Baby, if we talk Put all of my new dishes away and just 
organized this section of my kitchen and I feel so much more at peace you guys looking at this like this is all I need I do not need more than this amount of dishes like I have no idea why I used to have so much stuff this just feels so much better having like minimalism I'm gonna go through and put these new mugs away I'm just like so happy though like this is the vibe that I'm going for in my whole house is just like so simple and I know I keep saying that over and over again, but that's like the best way to describe it. It's just very, very simple and minimal. My fit is like very frumpy today. Oh my God, Lulu is literally eating the plant again. Guys, it's been like hours. Like, ma'am, this is not food. Why do you do that? Why? Anyways, we are going to make the coffee now. You guys, please get off the calendar, please. Here is a nice, freshly washed glass. I feel like it's just gonna look so beautiful in there. I honestly really shouldn't be having a coffee right now because it's 6.30, but you know, you guys, sometimes you have to live a little bit on the edge. All right, we're gonna do my favorite trio. Currently, um, Starbucks iced coffee. I wanna get a different type of iced coffee, like on Amazon or something, but for now, we're gonna do this one. Oh, I need to open up another one. Lately, I've just really been into the iced coffee vibes rather than having my Keurig coffee. Do I wanna get an espresso or do I wanna get like a Ninja? Like, I just don't know. I don't really wanna spend like $1,000 on a coffee machine. And then for milk, you guys, I am really maturing in life. I'm not using unhealthy sugary coffee creamers anymore, okay? I have my oat milk. From Califia, this is like the barista blend and it actually is really good. I like my coffee pretty light. So I add mostly milk and then I use the Califia Better Half. I know this is kind of weird because I'm combining like all these milks because this is oat milk and then this one is coconut cream and almond milk. So it's just kind of like a lot of different combos, but. It's so cute. All right, I need to blend it up a little bit because it's not really all mixed. I just ordered some new glass straws on Amazon and I am so excited about it. Literally, Lulu is eating the plant again. I just can't take her anymore, I cannot. But I ordered some new glass straws on Amazon that are gonna be so cute. But for now, still using my metal ones. Oh my God, I love it. Hello everyone, so it is actually the next day. Yesterday, I must have fell asleep because I woke up at 3 a.m. with all my makeup on, on the couch. And I was just like, where am I? So yesterday was a rough one. I think I fell asleep at like nine or something. I don't know. I just like woke up and I felt like I was in a trance. So I, of course, did not vlog anymore. But hello, we're starting off the next day strong. Got my period. So I'm just, I'm just feeling amazing as I'm sure you can imagine. But anyways, I got all ready. I actually did my hair, literally I think for the first time in like two weeks. So I'm feeling like a bad bitch. And I wanted to show you guys um, well, first of all, I'm going to show you the foundation that I use just in case people want it and they missed my other videos. The Dior Forever Foundation, and I get the 24-hour high perfection skin caring foundation with sunscreen. They have one that's like different than this that's matte, but I will leave this exact one that I have down below. I'm in the shade 1.5 neutral or 15, it says right there. This is literally the best foundation ever, you guys. It's what I use every time I get ready. And it is so freaking good, okay? Like, just trust me, you guys. Literally the best foundation ever. It's worth the money. And then one other thing I wanted to share with you guys in here. This is like all of my skincare and hair care self-tanning products. If you didn't watch my bathroom organization video, then you wouldn't have seen this. But I have everything pretty organized. Also, I recently just got to eczema for the first time in my entire life on my armpits and it is so painful. Shout out to people that deal with this all the time because wow, it hurts. Like it's so dry, but that's why I have this like right in your face, like eczema <laughs> cream. So ignore that. What was I gonna show you guys though? Oh, it's down here. Okay, this is my new favorite 
spray like a facial spray let's see let's get this to focus the ines free i think that's how you say it ines free i don't know how you pronounce that but their dewy glow mist i was gonna share this on my instagram a couple weeks ago but i realized that they hadn't released the product yet i'm pretty sure it's out by now they sent it to me but you guys this is it they sell this brand at sephora i'm pretty sure either sephora or ulta one of those but this is like the best product Ever. You can spray it on your face when you don't have makeup on, when you do have makeup on as like a setting spray, you can do it as like a priming spray, you can spray it throughout the day. I literally spray it on my face 24-7. And then they also sent me this moisturizer, which I'm pretty sure they've had this in their line for a long time, but this is so good too. It's a really lightweight moisturizer. I use this normally before I put on my makeup if I don't want anything like too heavy on my skin. That's really good too. But I thought I would let you guys know that those products are so good. But you guys, we have very exciting things happening over here. I got more Amazon packages in the mail. Oh, I just walked into the chair, that kind of low key hurt. But yes, I got some more stuff in the mail and I am so excited about it. Like a lot of stuff came in. So we're gonna open all of this and see what kind of goodies we got today. It's like a surprise every day. And then like I know what I ordered, I, I forget. Like cause a lot of times when I order stuff on Amazon, I order things really late at night. So, Kind of just like forget. Literally same exact energy as yesterday. Oh, here comes Coco. Oh my God, look at you guys. I literally just opened the drawer to get this. I'm telling you, like, do you see? She was sleeping in the bedroom and Coco just sprinted out here because she wants the laser pointer. Okay, Coco, I'll do it for a second. I'll show you guys how crazy they get. Okay, everybody ready? Watch, I'll just click it up at the ceiling and watch their faces. They were trying to find it. Okay, here we go, guys. It's right there. It's right there. Oh my goodness, get it. Get it, guys. It's so hard to do with the camera. Okay, go ahead. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, 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 get it. Get it, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get it. Okay, that's enough. Oh, hi, Scar. Do you love it? Let's get back to our unboxing, what we came here for. So I think this one is probably the least exciting. This, I'm pretty positive, is my Celsius because I just decided to go for it. And yep, yeah, okay. I decided to go for it, you guys, and I ordered a 12 pack of grape Celsius online because this is literally all I drink late in the afternoons, like around like, now, like three o'clock in the afternoon, I love having a Celsius because it gives me so much energy. Sorry, you guys were a little crooked. Celsius gives me so much energy. Like I, if I have one of these, you guys say it like six, seven o'clock at night, I will literally for some reason be up until like 5 a.m. the next day. Like that's how powerful they are. So drink these at your own caution, okay? But if you need an extra boost of energy, these are so good and they actually taste really good. Like I've tried before um, having those. I tried Bang, I didn't like Bang, Monsters. Um, the only other energy drink that I really enjoy is the Alani New um, energy drinks, but those are like, you have to get the mid GNC. And my favorite flavor, you guys know, if you know, you know, is the Grape Rush. It literally tastes like grape soda. I know I say that all the time, but I just, I need more people to love the grape Celsius because it doesn't get enough recognition. Okay, these I'm very excited about. So these are new phone cases, you guys. I thought they were by the same company. Are these gonna fit on my phone? Low key, they look really big, but I wanted some new phone cases because the one that I've had on my phone, I've literally had since I got my iPhone and it's just like past its due dates. So I wanted to get some new ones. How in the world do I open this? Okay, suede on the inside. Do you guys see that? It kind of just looks dirty. This color is kind of cute. It's like a nice pale orange color. I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter in person, but it's still cute. I like it. I'm into this whole like monochromatic look. And then the other one that I got, this is like, oh my God, they sent little stickers with it. That is so cute. This one I really, really love. I've been loving this color green. I like this color green and I really like um, light, like lilac-y purple. I should get my phone and put 
one on it. All right, so this is the phone case that I had on my phone. I always get questions about this. It's from Target, but like I said, I literally got it like two years ago, so it's probably not sold anymore, but um, okay, I think I'm gonna put the green one on. Ooh, I like the feeling of it. I really like like silicone feeling cases. They just feel really nice when you're holding them. So, oh, this is so cute. So this is what my new phone case looks like, y'all. Very into it. I just like the simple, like one color kind of vibe. Okay, and we have one more package to go through with some other items. Okay, so this is a slip, slip, a silk pillowcase. I want to try this out because I saw somebody else recommends this in a video and it's way cheaper than that popular brand of like silk pillowcases and hair ties and stuff so i was like okay i'll try out this brand first and see if i like sleeping on a silk pillowcase and if i do then i will move on to the more expensive brand hi everybody wants to know what i got i know it's crazy i know i ordered some stuff online and now we just have to be surrounding me at all times okay um hmm. it's had really good reviews online i don't know i've just never really i guess touched like a silk pillowcase before but i thought it would be softer but it says that it's real silk so I will try this out and let you guys know if I like it or not. I just got the plain white one, but they had a bunch of different colors. If you want one for yourself, read the reviews first, because honestly, I haven't tried it out yet and it kind of feels weird, but we'll we'll get to that at some point later on. Okay, and then this one, the final thing that I have today. Wow, we have really exciting stuff going on in today's vlog, you guys. This is straws. It comes with actually like a lot of straws. I got all these clear glass straws oh wow oh they're thick okay these are gonna be good for smoothies um i guess i can use them for my coffee too but these are like thick straws i feel like i don't know <laughs> i like them though they're very like clear simple vibes you guys know and yeah i got eight of them like that's a that's a good deal to get this many straws Wait, did I get eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, okay. Eight straws. Some of them are like straight up and down and then the other half are bent. And it comes with two straw cleaners, which I normally put my straws in the dishwasher. But, so yeah, I'm gonna have to clean these at some point. But wow, these are really cute. And now I have all of this mess to clean up. I'm really into these phone cases though, you guys. Like that is cute, right? Like. This is a cute vibe. I'm into it. I love them. Yay, this was a good purchase. They just feel so nice. I really like the silicone vibe, like I said. I took some time off from filming because I just feel really weird today. I don't know how to describe it. I just, I feel very over it. It's like over everything, over like things in my life, over my apartment, over like, I don't know, I'm just like frustrated. Like my phone, I need a new phone. I have like all these things just going through my head and I'm just like over today. But I'm gonna make some avocado toast right now. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it because a lot of you guys that watch these videos don't watch my fitness channel. So you wouldn't have seen like all of these recipes before. So I feel like excited because I get to share my recipes with people that have never seen it before. So we're gonna make avocado toast. I did not even realize I have half of an avocado still good in my fridge. So I guess we can just use that. I think so. I'm gonna add a little bit of arugula and spinach on top, but I guess this is everything. I'm like zoning out right now, okay. Okay, first step to making my famous avocado toast. We have to fry an egg, of course. So I always add an egg on top of my avocado toast because I feel like it's just a game changer. I'm gonna spray some avocado oil. Should I turn this light on? Does that make it better for you guys? I don't know. I'm gonna spray some avocado oil, which I'm like running out, so it comes out really weird, but still does the job. And once it gets a little bit warm, just crack the egg in. This egg that I'm using is literally so large. So it's a big boy today, but crack that in there. With the egg, I just add a little bit of fresh cracked salt, a little like pink Himalayan salt. This is my favorite because I swear it's just so much better than regular salt. Like the freshly cracked one is so much better. Oh wow, that's a lot of crushed red pepper. <laughs> 
And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of black pepper. Get your little spatula out and let it cook up. Avocado is a little bit brown just cause it was sitting in my fridge, but it's okay. It will taste the same. Oh, I forgot I have to toast my bread. Okay, I don't have a toaster you guys because I just don't use a toaster enough to have one, but I need to toast my bread so I broil it in the oven, little life hack. But I always mash up my avocado. I've done this ever since I started making avocado toast. If I don't do this, I just don't really like the texture of like chunky avocado on my toast. So I have to always mash it and I always make like a little guacamole vibe. This right here is the bread that I'm gonna be using. It's from Whole Foods. It's just like a nice fresh sourdough. I think it's actually local to uh, Boston. Now I'm just cutting up a lemon and I'm gonna juice this half into the avocado. Probably not even a full half. You guys, the fresh lemon juice with the avocado, game changer. So I'm just gonna do some crushed red pepper and regular black pepper, because you guys know I like things uh, extra spicy. And the bread is done. I just remembered one of the key ingredients I'm going to add on top of my avocado toast, guys. I started a movement with honey on top of avocado toast. And so many of you guys were like, you need to try Mike's hot honey. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. I've never used this and I am so excited about it. It's essentially what it is, what it says. It's a spicy honey and my mouth is literally watering. Just thinking about it because I feel like it's going to be so good. I also always add hummus into my avocado toast. I add this first onto the bread. This one's really good from Whole Foods because there's no oil added to it, so it's just a little bit better for you. I don't know why, I just kind of really want to add some red onion in, just so that way it's not like one whole bite of onion on your toast. It's kind of just it's more subtle, even though this is kind of a lot of onion. Lately, I've just been so obsessed with veggies, you guys, and just like eating literally the healthiest I ever have been. I don't know what came over me, but I was just like, I woke up one day recently and I was like, I just wanna eat so healthy. <laughs> like, I don't wanna put shit, bad shit into my body anymore. And yeah, I just like started and now I can't stop. So first step is the toast. This is like a recipe that I've made so many times before, but I am using like, I feel like now even better ingredients than I used to like this hummus for instance has no oil in it like the hummus I used to use definitely did so it's like the same recipe but just refining it to make it just that little bit more healthy so if you guys have any suggestions of things that I should try things I should do that is all about like clean eating let a girl know because I am very into it and I just want to like better myself but now once i added the hummus i add all the avocado and it's nice when you mix it up like this because you can really spread it all evenly now i'm gonna do a little bit of fresh sea salt then i know this all sounds so weird you guys like honey with avocado and egg but just trust me it tastes so good so I'm gonna add, I mean, I don't know about this honey because I've never had this one before, but majority of them, when I just do regular honey, it tastes so good. So I'm gonna drizzle this on top. Literally game changer honey on avocado toast. Now the finishing touch on top is your fried egg. Ta-da. And it's that simple, you guys. That is my famous avocado toast. It is so good. I'm so excited to start sharing more recipes on this channel because it just feels so natural to me. So if you guys want more food ideas, like healthy food ideas, let a girl know because I totally can do this. Or let me know if you guys hate me including this in vlogs because I just don't really know what you guys like to see. But this is what I like to see, beautiful avocado toast. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I guess I'll just talk to you guys once I'm done eating to end off this vlog because I was editing it and I feel like it's already a decent amount of time lengthwise. I'm in a weird mood right now. Like I just feel 
weird i feel like i don't know what to like talk about i don't know what to do i don't know what to spend my time doing i don't know what like i'm gonna do in the future i just feel like very like confused at the moment and a little frustrated so yeah I hope you guys understand. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get out of it by tonight and then tomorrow's vlog will be a nice, new, fresh moment. But for now, I'm just feeling odd. It looks so cute. <laughs> I'm about to have a photo shoot with my avocado toast on my coffee table for my Instagram stories because that is my life. This is how bored I am. My camera's about to die. I need to change the battery. But if you guys watched Nailed It on Netflix, like if you watch it, let me know. I literally don't know what, why I have like a sick obsession with it, but I can't stop watching it. The host is so awesome. Her name's Nicole. And I always see her podcast in like my recommendations, but she's so funny. And it's just like, it's light. It's a light show to watch. Like it's something super easy to just like watch and not really pay attention, but also pay attention at the same time. But yeah, it's been like my favorite. It's on Netflix called Nailed It. It's literally people who don't know how to bake, baking like cakes and cookies and all of these stupid things. And After I had my avocado toast, I ate all of it. It was so good, you guys. The honey, life-changing. I really like that Mike's Hot Honey. I'll link it down below because I know you can get it on Amazon, but wow, it was so good and so spicy and just perfect. But you guys, now I'm gonna have some fruit because I feel like I haven't been eating that much fruit recently. So I'm just gonna snack on these strawberries and blueberries. My makeup's probably all messed up from eating, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was kind of just like random, but I hope you liked it. Like I said, I'm just feeling a little weird today. So I feel like it would be best to kind of end off this vlog here and start fresh with a new one where it's just like, good vibes because I'm feeling a little bit stressed and anxious and just all over the place right now. So I'm going to eat my fruit and I'm going to watch some Nailed It and I'm going to edit. Right. Mm, it's so good. My camera died in the middle of me filming this outro, but I was saying I'm going to edit this vlog, upload it, and then hopefully sorry if you hate the sound of chewing i c i couldn't wait to have some strawberries but hopefully if i upload the video and see like some nice good comments and positive stuff then i will feel motivated again to film another vlog maybe i'll do that but anyways i'm t just talking to myself now and it's getting too long so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and like it if you did because it really helps me out and i would greatly appreciate that and i will talk to you guys in my next video very soon